What is going on my hot today? I'll be showing you guys the best keybinds in Call of Duty Cold War. Keep in mind, I have only played a few games of this, but this is what I've noticed have been the best keybinds for me. I come from a very heavy PC background. I play a lot of CSGO and Valorant. I played Call of Duty way back in the day. You guys can go on my channel and you'll see I trick shot and all that stuff. I haven't played Call of Duty since BO2, but this is the best settings I've noticed so far. So for your moving, keep that just your default right here. And then for jump, I like this, then I also like to have your mouse wheel bound to down as well, so this way you can like, it's easier to like maneuver around and you can kind of b-hop and stuff a little bit in this game I've noticed. If you don't know what b-hopping is, you guys can just look up a tutorial. I've noticed you can kind of do it in this game a little bit, and it'll help you going downhill and stuff, you'll move a little bit faster. Then for crouch slash jump, I have C, but sometimes I like to use my uh, my mouse button, I like that program there, because that's just how I've always played. And then for prone, I have F. You can put this to whatever you want. Again, this is all preference, personal preference. But for me, I like F because it's just nearby where my D, like where my fingers are. So it's just easy to press. Then for sprint and steady aim, I have left shift. That is also one of the buttons on my mouse. So that's really good and handy. And then for walk, you have left alt. I don't really use that at all, but it's there. For fire, you're going to keep that default. I'm pretty sure you just want to keep that default. I don't know anyone that would use anything else for that. Reloads obviously are. Then for previous weapons and all that nonsense, I like to keep it two and three because I'm used to Fortnite because I played that way back when and your pickaxe was always bound to one. So that's why it's like that. That's kind of weird for some of you guys, but yeah. Lethal Equipment G is going to be for grenades. I like that G for grenade guys. It's probably obvious to me. I like that. Tackle Equipment's Q. I like that because it's like close to all my other fingers. Same with field upgrades, close to all my other fingers. Melee's easy. Like I, my thumb's just chilling on V all the time. So I just, it's easy to press, you know? Interact E, some people like F, I prefer E just because that's how I've always played. In PUBG, I switched it to E and it's just helped me affect, helped me a lot, I don't know, up to you guys. Pinging, I recommend mouse wheel because your hands are always on your mouse, recommend just so that way just a quick tap to ping for your teammates. Score streaks, 4, 5, and 6, just because your 1, 2, and 3 are already being used. And these, I haven't really noticed anything that helps with this yet. And for these ones, I haven't noticed really anything yet where this comes in handy, so I just left them to the default binds. I'm not really sure what they do exactly. Driving vehicles, this is definitely the best settings for sure, like that. I haven't flown an airplane yet, so I'm just going to keep it with like what this is right now. H for horn, because H is for horn, you know? Just kind of remember that, you know, keep that in mind. In to change seats, I feel like that's pretty normal for most games. Like, I know that's how it was in PUBG as well. Scoreboard tab. Map, you're going to want M. Text chat, enter, push to talk. I like T personally because it's by my reload, so it's just easy to press, you know? Yeah, other than that, all this stuff really doesn't matter. This is all just personal preference at this point. These are definitely the best key points for this game, 100%. I'm going to be streaming this game later if you guys want to check it out. Just click on my channel. It will be streaming most likely. I play Valorant, like I said before. I'll be playing Valorant once this game is over, so just check out my live streams for that. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. Adios, guys. I, I, I use the